What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be rebuilding this Dell Optiplex 755. So let's get started already. First I'm going to put in this dual core processor. It's an E7400. So let's get everything situated. Make sure it's placed in there evenly. Make sure all those things are Cool. Put that down. So we got that. I don't know. I'm just doing this in a random order, so forgive me if it's kind of weird. Let's put some RAM. We got a one gig stick, two gig stick, another one gig stick, and another one gig stick. So that's a total of five. Why not? I never really heard of a computer with 5 gigs of RAM, have you guys? So let's just do it. Let's I understand this ain't going to utilize the RAM properly, but, you know, I'm just trying to rebuild it, bring it back to life after I took it apart and sold all the parts, which I'll probably post that link to that video in the description below afterwards. So we got that all set up. No, just slap a card in there. Put the Wi-Fi card back in there. I have no purpose for the Wi-Fi card anyways besides the system all right we got that Let's put in a hard drive we have 160 gig Samsung hard drive. Put that inside there. So let's see what else we got. Hmm. Actually, I think I should put the thermal paste on the processor before I go any further, before cables get in the way and such. So let's see. Let me grab my stuff. All right, I'm back. Finally found my thermal paste. So let's put a dab of that in there. Should be good enough. Spread that around. You guys notice I'm not really trying that much. It's just a quick job, just trying to get this back together. So then I have a complete computer, you know. So let's get the heat sink on. You notice it has like this hinge thing going on. It's okay. Put that down. So screw that in. Okay, now the other side. <clears throat> okay. 
Cool. So let's get a power supply in there. I'm just going to put in this cheap generic power supply. It says Power Man. I don't know if the camera can catch it, but 350 watts. I'm very weary on how good this power supply is, but you know what? This computer ain't going to be running anything special, so it should be good enough. Well, I skipped through the part where I was screwing in the power supply, because I know that can be boring to watch. But then, let's keep on going now. I'm going to connect the power. Alright, got that in there. Got some power leads. Oh, just gonna connect it to the hard drive. And this Let's not connect up the DVD drive just for the hell of it and connect the floppy drive. You know, floppy drives rule. They're the best. So let's connect. Oh, I got the hard drive set up. Let's connect the SATA for the hard drive. Go route that cable. Boom. Now put the floppy drive cable. Be cool to try to put something like Windows 95 on here. That'll work properly just because this machine is too modern, but you know, it'd be cool. Be the wrong end. Yep. Got that plugged in. And last but not least, I almost forgot. Um, the power for the CPU. That thing's kind of hit by the RAM. Come on, get in there. There we go. Sweet. So let's boot them up, see what happens. Okay, we're gonna try a boot test. I ended up swapping out the hard drive with one that had an operating system on, so let's give it a try. And there we go, got the Dell logo coming up. Let's see what happens. Yeah, let's play, press the F1 key, let's get past this. <clears throat> Come on.
Well, it's taking a long time to load. Well, everything's all big. Thanks for taking the video card out. Plus, seems not to be working, but let's see if we can get around. Let's go to the control panel. Well, the computer is acting really laggy. Well, I guess that's all for today. Till next time, thanks for watching.